Hey there, everybody. After Beer Stan here, back with some more uh, Infinity server play. I've been a busy beaver decorating the place. Uh, went and found a village here over yonder. They had an apiarist. Lucky for me, I got a very interesting bee out of it. It was two meadows queens, but when this one bred through, it was a valiant princess. It's actually a valiant meadows, and then this guy's a valiant saffron, which does all kinds of crazy things to our breeding. And we'll get to saffron eventually, but I don't think we're particularly interested in that trait right at the moment, and it's really just going to confuse things. And I don't even have enough byproduct yet to identify this third bee, but we're hoping it's going to be a Meadows Valiant and we can crossbreed these and have a pretty good chance at getting a Valiant bee, which would be cool beans right off the beginning. Villager, I just saw wants 24 emeralds for one seed. That's good stuff. So for people who weren't paying attention or didn't watch or have short memories, um, this is this is a no promises little bit of series. This is just uh, me dinking around on the server, kind of getting established. Uh, you know, just getting resources uh, in preparation for maybe shooting some tutorials and probably taking place in some collaborative sorts of things. Maybe we'll have some games and you know form a little bit of a community, do some challenges. I don't know. We'll see what the future holds. Maybe at least have some fun building spawn together. But I think I'm gonna. You know, just kind of sink in and and uh, and gather up the basics, and then I'll start doing some tutorials once I have. Cause like I said before, I won't have any ability to do kind of creative stuff. It's just whatever I can muster up. And we need more B product. So with that in mind, let's um, mob drops. Maybe two. Oh, I already got two. Well, that's right. I've been out shearing sheep. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, we're going to need some empty inventory space here. If we're going to go out bee collecting, because that takes up some serious room in the old inventory. For sure. Just gonna go nuts here. Oh yeah, see that came from the village. There's also a, a bunch of Tinker's Construct stuff in one of the houses I couldn't carry. But we'll bring all that eventually, provided somebody else doesn't beat us to it. No big deal, I'm not laying claim to anything. In fact, there's a little claim system if you go into your inventory for people on the server and it shows you like see I, I claim these chunks that's my base I don't care about anything else claimed 25 chunks the rest of the map is yours I don't know if that unclaim all chunks setting GUI is temporarily replaced with LM player well, we'll have to look into how that works. That probably has something to do with giving people permission. I made this flower pouch, and I'm a little disappointed that the flowers don't immediately go into the pouch. They actually jump into your inventory, and then you've got to open the pouch. Unless maybe it works when they're when it's in your hotbar. I don't know. I haven't tried that. It was in my inventory previously, and I tried it. No, nope. see, right into my inventory. So, that to me... It's a fail. Sorry. I know that might be a little harsh, but that's just plainly not a win. It makes a potentially a super useful item just not really all that useful at, at all. Let's go see. I mean, other than, yeah, you can dump a bunch of stuff out of your inventory, I guess. I mean, you know, it's yeah, it has a use, but you literally, like, cut the utility by 75%. Because now I have to take an extra step to make all of this stuff happen. I'm not seeing a lot of beehives. 
I'm not really interested in modest bees at the moment. We don't need to go to the desert. bring my tank. Main. Okay, well, here's how we solve that. Ding. Quest for bees. We don't want the desert. We've already established that. There's nothing out here. I see them all the time when I'm not out looking for them. Run by them and you're like, oh hey look bees. They're even in the water, you swim by them. Oh, anonymous green. Anonymous Mr. Green. Oh hello there, squeaker do. She's sleeping on my lap. This is, this is Athra Beerstain's life on video while playing Minecraft. That's the official theme for the, uh, ooh, oh, it's getting late. This is not my tree. Where's my tree? My tree is right here. didn't it? Look at your map for half a second and suddenly the sun set. What's this? Copper you say? Well no luck finding bees. We'll go sleep. Oh wait I don't know if we can sleep. Who's on? Yeah we can we can sleep. Goodness, baby, you are not helping, and we are about to get creepered. I can just feel it, the timing. Okay. <laughs> we got Sucker for resources, what can I say? Be dark. I mean, it'll be uh, daytime by the time we get home. Turn around and go back out and look for more stuff. We're in a plains biome, so we're primarily going to want like meadows and forest bees. I think we'll rest here. Ooh, left the door open. Just pick a direction. Let's go west. You know what? Let's not go west. Let's go north because I think. Oh, do I have a sword? Okay. Now I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. I'm never gonna find these. Can't even leave the house. I'm just gonna dump this stuff. I don't. Let me see if I can clear I don't know. Let's take that. In fact, let's go get our... This is a big concern of mine right at the moment. Let's go get this tank. What? Are you taking refuge in my swimming pool? I hate it. Thumbs up. Server is running smoothly, I'm having no issues. Single use Safari net. 
Maybe we'll keep that on us. No rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's just gonna have to do. Been about enough of the dilly dallying. Oh, wait, 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 wait. head off to the lava pool, which I believe was, yeah, that one. and we'll fill that tank right up. That's one of my chief concerns right now, is how do I make lava, but that'll be enough to get us going for a while, because what I want to do is move that igneous extruder and put it over the smeltery or maybe build a second smeltery or something like that and then uh, set it up making seared stone I've got an idea I want to build something out of some seared stone so this lava is gonna get us I like to build as much as I like you know techy and automating and, and and all of that kind of stuff I really at the end of the day, I just like to build stuff. I really enjoy just like placing blocks and being creative that way. Oh, high places are dangerous. Well, I'm making myself dizzy. Not a very good place to have put that tank. In retrospect. to break. I made the, uh, the slightly expanded the second tier so it holds 32 buckets. I had a very short episode, well I noticed it immediately, it was like, you know, 35 seconds long with no sound and then somehow in the resetting of the sound I ended up with a video with no, uh, no video, it was just sound so it wasn't capturing the window. And that was like, uh, that was pretty much a full episode. Um, so I had intended to kind of keep you guys up to speed, despite the no promises attitude of the series. I was intending to not leave a lot out, just just when it was not really doable here around the house, because I have to be able to communicate with people, and and uh, yeah, I can't be like forever plugged into Minecraft, at least in terms of recording and having you know my attention continuously occupied by it. I need to be able to get up and interact and do other things. Are we full? We sure are. Well, got distracted. Okay, actually, why would I not take that one with me? But, uh, yeah, I ended up losing that little bit, so... A lot took place, a lot of that Botania stuff, you know, we talked about that and some of that happened on camera. The current quest with Botania is to acquire um, some sort of burnable fuel for some thermal lilies, which are, I made some, some day blooms, four of them, just real quick, and I used them up. That's my K. Oh, and we're seeing we're seeing more more people on the server, so that's great. Not just empty words. I love a man of action. That that makes me uh, super happy to see people that do stuff instead of talking about stuff. Talking about stuff is great, you know. I mean, as long as it actually leads to doing stuff. <laughs> Oh, are we just gonna end up like farming rubber trees? Where all where all the bees at? Forest. Probably should be able to find some forest hives around here, but I'm just not seeing them. 
They're even white. They should be easy to spot. Where are you at, bees? Love the trees. Oh, we're gonna get into some trees too. Let me tell you. I was saying I wanna I wanna confine myself mostly to wood as a building material, and I do say mostly, certainly not exclusively. But that is a, a very broad subject. Uh, Natura adds several tones of wood. Forestry has, I don't even know, like a hundred varieties of tree that you can breed to. It's really kind of ridiculous. So, uh, that, that, I mean, there is a ton of opportunity to build out of wood that can keep us occupied for a long time. And then we can incorporate some various stone into that and maybe a little bit of glass. I was thinking about maybe building a glass geodesic dome. Um, that would be sufficiently geeky for my taste. What did we get right there? Unusual. I think that should work just fine in a plains biome. Don't think we'll have to do anything special to accommodate unusual bees. I think I'm going to confine myself to just shearing white sheep so we can just put a one stack of wool into the inventory. But that's kind of a resource of opportunity in my opinion. I might also grab some vines if I can find some. Well, we've got vines over at the house, but having shears is nice. Not a lot of bees. Where are all the bees at? There's one. Except I think that might be a... No, that's forestry. Good deal. Thought maybe that was a Pam's Harvest Craft hive, because they like to hang up inside trees a lot. Hey, there we go. Look at that. One, two, three. Now we're getting somewhere. Curious hive. Mystical. Interesting. Just random seeds. What happened there? Oh, was it just trees? I was just seeing trees. Oh no, there's one. One anyway. Forest hive. Perfect. In a good variety. After that, we just need any number of princesses. There's no, there's no uh, limit on that one. It's uh, kind of an endless resource that you need. If you're doing bees, you have to continually supply new princesses. I think there is a. Hey, look at that! Hello, thank you. I think there is a mechanic by which you can gain princesses now, so it's not as big an issue. But it used to be. It was just questing out. Every time you needed a new species of bee, you needed a princess, unless you wanted to get rid of some other species of bee. So if you've got 30 or 40 species of bee that you're breeding and, and using to make you know various product, that's a lot of questing out in the wilderness looking for beehives. You go through a fair number of scoops, let me tell you. Can't really tell against that backdrop. I think we'll start heading home in the general direction of home. We must have done a big circle because somehow we're south of home. I thought we ran off to the north. Maybe we ran right by it. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to sniff out bees. This is a pretty good start. Oh, yep, here comes darkness. Okay, time to... Pretty good start. It, bees is a little bit slow. I think Gendistry is probably in here. And we'll get there someday, maybe. But Gendistry's kind of chi. <laughs> it's a little bit OP. Oh, hello. Oh, is this a... This is a danger tree? It sure is. We don't want danger. Hey, there's some good stuff. Oh, and look at us with the full inventory. Portal gun, what? <laughs> yeah, I'll just trade that for a crack block. Some seeds. 
portal gun, yeah. I don't know that we need a mundane ring, but why not? Woot. Woot. Loot. Well, I was going to go over and pop that guy off, but... No can do now. What's up, Whitey? Little midnight harvesting of the wool. If it were a real witchery mod, that might mean something. Hey, we're under attack. Better to harvest wool under the midnight at the full moon. What we got? Crescent moon? That's no good. This wool is no good. It's fit for but peasants. Harvested at the quarter moon. I hear a Zombert. I hear a skeleton. I see a creeper. Moo. Another one? I don't think we want any pizza. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Holy smokes, we're dead. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, from, after all that, got away with a half a heart and then fell to my death. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough to force daylight. Alrighty, where'd we die? Oh, down over this way somewhere. Where are you? Death. That must be the one. Light green. can't even see it on this map. It's too... Oh well, let's just find it in the heads up. There we go. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I had 30 levels on me. That's about the only real loss, but... We won't be long till we get some kind of mob spawner going. Even if it's just a vanilla style dark room. I don't know how thoroughly I want to try to avoid technology. There's a lot of technology in this pack and it's hard to walk away from. For the time being, I think I'm going to try to stick to some of the more basic machines like I've got. Maybe an electric furnace and forestry because it's kind of an organic sort of a little bit of a natural feel to the technology I don't know we'll see what we get into oh dear technology's hard to call hard to uh, stay away from for me it's definitely something I enjoy about Minecraft danger tree over there. Gotta watch out for. That was what really got us into trouble. Yeah, five levels back. You'll change, uh... I can't believe we found a portal gun just like that. Right off the bat. Pew! Yes, please. We don't need cobblestone. That's basically garbage. I would very much like to have my dolly. 
Okay. Better than iron. Um, where did my waypoint go? I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, while well, I'm thinking about it, it'll drive me nuts to have this on here. thinking about it. I love those big trees. Those are just the coolest thing. So, yeah, I'm stoked to be living in a giant tree. I'm gonna have like a great big, uh, what's the word? I don't know. I'm gonna plant a bunch of trees around it. I think this is probably a good time to cut video too. I don't know how long this is getting to be, but here we go.